with the uh, well, Lynch Alliance. Yes, now you guys are doing a cleanup. I see the uh, implements. Fall planting. Planting and cleanup. Day. Now yep. what does that involve? We uh, take the, there's about 16 large terracotta flower pots scattered mm -hmm. throughout town and we change them seasonally. This, this time of year we're putting in mums. And then we go through the garden beds, especially here in Rickleton and down on Baker. We do some weeding, put some new mulch down, just try to clean up, uh, keep everything looking sharp. And how many volunteers did the cab today? Uh, today, I probably had about 15 nice. all total. They come and go. Yeah, we get, you know, um, some of our board members, Virginia Lamb, um, uh, who used to manage the Village Alliance has kept this on so she's sort of our committee chair and she gets everything organized and set and my job is just to publicize it and get the volunteers. Um, so we get some kids who come out, we get some uh, people just who saw it posted on Facebook and just decided to come down and help and us. We saw your, your Maplewood Online notice. Yes. <laughs> so we promoted that as well. Okay, awesome. Thank now, you. Now, how is the Maplewood Village Alliance doing overall with budget and Cooperation from the town. Oh, great with cooperation yeah. from the town. Yeah, we're the second smallest, or maybe the smallest at this point, um, uh, special improvement district in the state. So we're very small budget. So we really consider ourselves a volunteer outreach organization. And you do take donations. Oh, yes. <laughs> Where can we take people take donations of time and money? <laughs> Where can people donate money? Uh, they, they can make checks payable to the Maplewood Village Alliance, um, and it's Post Office Box 1360, Maplewood, New Jersey. And where's your, what's your website? It's maplewoodvillagealliance.wordpress.com. Ah. And what might people not know about the Maplewood Village Alliance? They, uh, what the Maplewood, might they not realize you guys do? Uh, we try to, our mission is to promote, preserve, and enhance the downtown business district. The idea is if we keep it looking uh, keep it vital, keep it looking sharp. It will attract not just local residents, but people from out of town to keep our merchants going. I don't think people realize how many local, independently owned businesses we oh, have yes. here. And um, it's... Uh, it's known as the non-chain store. Yeah, it's kind of special, but you know, they're not big budget businesses, so they need um, really uh, as much business as possible, especially during the recession right now, but you know, uh, they need help keeping uh, the town looking inviting, getting people to come into town. We do the events. Uh, we oh, yes. have about street 10 fairs. events a month, the street fairs. We've got one coming up on October 2nd, the fall open market. Very uh, good. Sidewalks will be closed, there'll be lots of attractions. For and of kids. course, Halloween is. Oh, Halloween's huge. Uh, the they're... Chamber of Commerce does Halloween. But you guys are, are helping Sweet them out, though. We help. We sponsor. Yes. But that really, they get the credit for that okay. one. Okay, we want to be fair to everyone. Yeah. <laughs> girls' night out. Oh, the, love the girls' nights sidewalk out. Sidewalk sales. There's going to be a sidewalk sale. A week from today, just to pop up surprise oh, okay. sidewalk sale. Merchants are going to try to move spring merchandise at a at a deep discount. So we just try to get the word out for them. We do a lot of social media because that's something we can afford. Oh yes, we follow you there. Yeah. Um, and that's basically it. We do work with the businesses. We consult with them on their facade designs. Uh, we have a facade improvement grant. If anyone wants to make donations and specifically designate it for certain things, we have a beautification fund which helps. Uh, with this project, we have a facade improvement grant. So when businesses need a new new awning or need to resurface the front of their store, they will come to us with an application. We'll review it if they adhere to the design standards that are in place for the village. Um, then they are eligible to apply for a grant. We'll, we'll try to fund up to 50% of their exterior work. Great. Hey, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you.